the 10th anniversary of National Moth Week, and we did it about two years ago, and we had so much fun that we wanted to try it again this year. Yeah. And so we're going to go around for three days looking for moths and observing them and trying to identify them. So join us for the fun in mothing. Can and Katie, you, you can look too, but you can't eat them. Nope, no eating. You might be wondering why we're doing Moth Week, but the truth is, I'm obsessed with moths. No, literally, her camp name is Moth. Yeah, I was in kindergarten, a little daisy, running around <laughs> in the cactus <laughs> screaming about the moths <laughs> way after curfew. And later, at Girl Scout camp still, I would save all of the moths that got stuck in our cabin because everyone else was scared of them. So I just saved them because they're beautiful. <laughs> My dad's making tacos, but I'm making something even better. And it may look like a yummy smoothie, but it's actually moth bait. And this has um, some frozen bananas that were too old to eat, and we were going to use for banana bread, but so we put them in the freezer, but we're going to use them for moth bait. And some old strawberries, and some watermelon rinds. And we're going to mash it all up and add some simple syrup and rum. So, now we're going to paint a lot of it on. What time is it? 10? So this has been out here for an hour. Oh, wait. Um, we thought I saw one. Anybody here? No. There's one. That's a moth. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. We got a moth. Oh. You let him go? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there he is. He's right here. Let me see what time he is. Hey, buddy. Sheet. Any on the food? I saw some going through the handrails. Ooh. Hey, hey, wait there. Look. Look. There's this tiny little dude. There's a moth. Oh my gosh. He Who is. is. Alright. I'm gonna slow down. Got I got him. That was a good one. <laughs> okay, ready? Go. Oh, he's fast. He's fat, too. <laughs> Night two. Two. Of National Moth Week. <laughs> Last night was kind of a bust. We didn't get many moths, but no. today we're in a different place. We're in northern Nevada instead of northern California. Also, yesterday was kind of smoky, and it'd be interesting to research if that affected them. But today was also pretty rainy, so kind of having a bad time with moths. Um, so today we're going to try it again, um, and we've been letting this ferment, so hopefully we'll get some moths. Yeah. Um. Galabe, galabe. Alright, so now we're going to take it outside. Mm. And let's go. have it all set up. Yes. Let's go. We have background music. <laughs> There's a concert going on. We're going to set this here. And hopefully it'll attract moths. So hopefully it'll encourage them. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, yeah, Art Town is in yeah, the park behind, behind our house. Stuff. Yeah, so we get to listen to it every night since <laughs> a few weeks ago. Mixed with crickets. Mixed with beautiful. <laughs> Yet. The beat goes with the crickets. <laughs> Concert's over. The concert's over. Yeah. Maybe we'll get more if they aren't like trapped into it. This is a lot like watching a moth mm. movie. Can we have popcorn, Mom? <laughs> yeah. No, li literally. Yeah, can we have popcorn to watch yeah. the movie? Yeah, please. Called Moth. <laughs> Called Moth. Much better. Mucho better. <laughs> this is a good movie. Mm -hmm. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> <laughs> so we may not have any moths right now, but we have a spider. It's like, thanks for the free buffet, people. There's a ton of nets. Mothing is hard. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah. So, so last night we saw two moths, um, a little house moth and a brown moth that flew in and out and we didn't have time to ID him. So tonight we're trying something different. So we have <laughs> the garage. Oh yes. <laughs> we figured that if, well this is one of the different things. We figured that if we want moths, we have to be moths to attract them. So. Yeah. Um, and also our garage is white, so we're shining the light on the garage, plus it's a bigger surface. And we've already seen one, See but it flew away. And um, we're going to take a walk in, in the neighborhood to all of the different bright lights um, to see if there's any moths there. Um, also, we have black light to attract them as well, because they they're, like we read light. that they like black light. So yeah, let's go. People are gonna think we're from Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Halloween in August. Yep. Wait, is it August? No, it's July. It's July. It's July. <laughs> so, we found a moth. <laughs> and it was. Um, we hadn't even, even started the Yeah, I'm gonna touch him and see if he moves. Unless he does. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> You like the black light? It's, it's huge. I'm gonna hold it. What is it? What is hold your light still. Maybe it'll come to it. It's buzzing. Whoa. It's really big. 
Is it a moth? It's flying in circles. It, your dad said a grasshopper, but I don't think they fly like that. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. Hold your light in one place. Let's see if it goes. Yeah, it does. It I don't want to catch big. it because I'm not sure if it's a moth. <laughs> Hold your light in one place. It's gotta be a moth. What do you think it is, dragonfly? I don't know, we'll have to freeze frame the video. We have to head back to the house because it randomly started raining, which, bravo, out of the it's blue. beautiful. We love rain, but it scared all the moths away. So we're hoping that the brilliant light will attract them all yeah. because it now it's a it's mere the, light drizzle. It's, it's like the literally the brightest. Was, it's the brightest light on the block. Yeah, you can see it from a distance. Yeah. There's two. Come on, it wasn't there. even on our bright light that we set up. Yeah, why don't they like this one? Mm. Wait, is that one like down or no? No. 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 Oh. Whoa. Like That's a cool. Light. Come on, Mothy Laffy. Oh, right there. Right there? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Why is it upside down? I don't know. Is he injured? I don't know. I saw him, I saw him flying. Where's he going? I want to ask you what's to That's him? Mm-hmm. When he folds up his wings, they're very... He looks just like the cement, doesn't he? Yeah. This little moth that I caught uh, has like a red back and he's beautiful. There. Yeah, that's good. It's like a um, burgundy. He's so cute though. Now comes one of my favorite parts. And mine and yours and stuff. <laughs> and <laughs> just looking through these moth books and identifying which moths we found and learning more about them. But if they're not in these books, which is entirely possible, then we could go on to citizen science groups online, um, like iNaturalist, and uh, we could put pictures of them on there. And then they have people that can identify them for you, which is super cool. We've had some pretty successful moth nights these last three nights, but Katie's still a better mother than we are. Yes, you are. It's not too late for you to join National Moth Week, and we will put the link the in the description <laughs> below. <laughs> um, and it happens every year, and we will enjoy the rest of this week hunting for success in mothing. And Katie will help. Yes, she will. <laughs> and so that a lot of the cute. moths that one's yeah. cute <laughs> i want to go to like um costa, costa rica, rica and like to see all see of these those, exotic yeah. ones yeah um i like the ones with the little tails too that are yeah. very little <laughs> the most common that we found was uh, the house, the house moth, moth, which is actually called the house, house moth. moth. Um, they don't really go over each of the different species because it says, with a wingspan of three quarters inch or two centimeters, the common brown house moth or false clothes moth is one representative of many thousands of small moth species, including like the classic clothes moths and the um and they belong to a group uh, a family that's called microrola pediotura <laughs> okay but that, i thought that one was cool well, yeah but that's not wings. a house moth clearly that that has snake wings yeah microrola pediotura <laughs> is that how you think it is yeah. I think it's <laughs> Microlepidotra. 
Yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I need to sounds like clay Because yeah, clearly that's a type of moth or family of moth that it we see a lot of. So I need to search that up. <laughs> it sounds Egyptian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they have a wingspan. The smallest one of these have a wingspan of a few millimeters. What? I don't even know <laughs> how like you a... identify that as a moth. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. like a gnat. Yeah, and uh, two of the most common are the apple maggot, the coddling moth, and the diamondback moth. I don't know which one we saw. I say, uh, we'll have to search that up. It looked like it had diamonds on its back. <laughs> I don't know if that's what that means, but probably does. Um, uh, uh, yeah, so, yeah, this book doesn't cover those because there's a ton of small species. It would take a whole book to go over them. They should have a book of But, houses. like, when you look up close, they're, like, just as beautiful as the bigger ones. Yeah. Oh, they should have a book of house moths. Yeah, they really should. Is you could probably that a moth? Them. Yeah, that's an ancient moth. A fossilized moth. Cool. Is that a caterpillar? Yeah, there's some moths like this that people think are butterflies because, like, like they look have at that. such that's beautiful, beautiful, wings. beautiful, like green, bright green but, wings with like yellow body, but it's moths. Yeah. If you look at the antenna, it's a moth. You can tell from like the antenna that it's a moth because they're like feathered, right? Yeah. Not like butterflies that have a right. ball at the end of their antenna. Yeah, and they're yeah. not furry. Also, I think moths have a more furry back, like with yeah. hairs on. Yeah, it's them. more furry. Um. And also, Which makes them adorable. Yeah. <laughs> they look like mini kitty cats with wings. Yeah, look at this one. Look how fuzzy he is. Jeez. He's like a fur coat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'd be nice in winter. <laughs> I don't Do they live in winter? I don't know. Mysterious. Mm -hmm. But moths, a lot of people... Is that think, a caterpillar? I've heard a lot of people be like... Is that a moth caterpillar? Yeah, do moths have caterpillars? Yes, they do. Of course they do. Yeah, a lot of people think that only butterflies have them. But that's not true. No, We no. actually had, um, we had like a container that had, um, we ha collected some caterpillars in our yard that we put in there. And then they... They came out as moths. Came out as moths. House moths. House moths. No, they were... The big brown ones. Oh, I thought they were house moths. No, they were not house moths. Okay. Sorry. But they were like green and adorable, and we were like, maybe we'll get butterflies, and they were moths. Yeah, I like the hummingbird moths, people. Yeah. Yeah, those thingies. Those are cute. They yeah. look like those, little tiny hummingbirds. They look hummingbird. like hummingbirds, and you're like, ooh, it's a hummingbird. Oh, wait and a then, second. It's dun, a dun, 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 dun. awesome moth. Yeah. But like the huge hummingbird moths, I like those ones because they look like hummingbirds. But the mini ones look like cute little miniature hummingbirds. They look like baby hummingbirds. It's kind it's of very one. cute. He has like oh here it is. So well, that one that's, has that's, red specks and stuff in it. That that's weird. Well, that that's it's odd. Both of and the brown moth that I saw, we're going to post it on iNaturalist and see if someone can identify it for us. Did we? Because have, we'd like to know what that is. Did we take a picture for it? of it? Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. Um, but um, this is a cool tiger moth thingy. Yeah. That one's cool. I like wow. that one. <laughs> <laughs> it especially looks like a mini kitty with wings. Uh, uh, my that favorite one. kind of moth. Well, not really, but that one looks of like my a honeybee. It's the ones that actually look like bees. Yeah, it's, like it's like that's a, huge, a moth. It's a huge bee. But I don't it's even a moth. see how you even. I, I thought that that's. A I moth. thought moths didn't have clear wings. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but apparently, they live in the U.S. But the, I thought the green was the. The place that they oh, look. Oh, it's purple. Oh. Whenever it's colored. We so, should... Stuart, every single place that we go, we have to look for these moths. Especially Costa Rica. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is an exotic book of moths. There's... Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Gosh. Jeez. Look at how that, big... That snake one is cool. It has, like, snake wings, you know? Yeah. 
So every place that we go, we have to look for these exotic moths. Because they're so pretty. I want to I wanna find a hummingbird. And then moth. this one. That one's pretty. Is about the biology and behavior. And this is my favorite on the cover because, like, look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Does that help them, better. like, fly or something or stabilize? Whoa. Those like must glow one. in the dark. No, probably not, but... Do moths have bioluminescence? I think so. We'll Maybe, sometimes. We have so many things to search up now. <laughs> I don't There's know. There's some crazy ones in here. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. Was that something? Hey! That's our moth. Yeah. Well, that is. Yeah. I think. Maybe. Hey, maybe that's the brown one. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe. It's a little too, like, white. Yeah. But this one says it's a tissue moth. One oh. of the number of species that can found overwintering, which is hibernating, or oversummering, which is evisciating. Never heard that word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In a cellar or out outhouse or cave. Hmm. So it's a tissue moth. Well, can you use them? They look, can you get like a clump of like them and use it something. as a tissue or something? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> and then they fly I think they eat tissues. Yes. Or they live in tissues. <laughs> yeah. or something to do. No, they look like tissues. <laughs> they look like tissues. Like muddy tissues. Something, someone who is dumb might, might use them as a muddy oh. tissue. Oh, that is so cute. It's so pretty. It's so cute, I want to slap that's, that. That's a moth. That's oh, a that's, moth. that's totally Apparently. moth. It looks Wait. like a boat. It's a uranium moth. It looks like a speedboat. On vibration. Boat. It looks like a speedboat for some reason. A speedboat, okay. <gasps> That's like that's what that's, we want. that's our house. No, no but not no. that light. No, just so many moths though. Like, how do you even get that money? Oh, the hey, they did the sheet thing. Oh yeah. Well, look at those. Those are huge. wow. They got huge ones. That's crazy.